Howdy, howdy, this is Mr. Potter. What we're going to do in today's video is we're going to talk to get about how to get a little bit more artsy with our graphics. So we're going to talk about how to paint on a graphic, on a GUI, rather than just add J components to it. So what I'm going to do is a lot of people are familiar with the paintbrush program or MS Paint or those type of programs. We're going to write a very simple one of those. So I'm going to call this uh, Painter. And we're going to go ahead and make sure this is on our desktop. And so we're going to import the stuff that we normally do. So I'm going to import uh, javax.swing.jpanel, or excuse me, jframe. We're going to import javax.swing.jlabel. And that's all the uh, J components I'm going to import. I'm going to import uh, java.awt. Uh, event dot mouse motion uh, listener and import java dot awt dot event dot mouse event. Now for this program I want to draw whenever I drag the mouse. So really dragged is the only one of these uh, methods that I want to write. So I'm, I'm going to let mouse move to kind of be an empty method. And then for the uh, AWT, I'm going to import java.awt.container, just so I have a uh, content pane to, to work with. I'm going to import java.awt.borderlayout, only because I want to put something at the very bottom of the screen. We'll talk about how to do that in just a minute. There's one other thing I want to talk about, and this really is kind of the, the focus of today's lesson. It's going to be java.awt.graphics. And the idea behind graphics is that I can use the graphics tool. And I'm only going to be talking about very few parts of it today, but we're going to expand upon it uh, in the, uh, the coming lectures. Um, so this is what we're going to be dealing with in our program here. So I'm going to say public class uh, painter extends JFrame implements mouse motion listener. And I'm going to have two instance variables, but they're both going to be ints. Uh, so private, int, x, and y. And these are going to be the x and y location of our mouse. Now, the reason that I'm having these be instance variables outside a particular method is because I need to find some way to uh, transfer these coordinates. And I'm actually going to give them some initial values here. I'm going to say int x gets negative 10 and y gets negative 10. And I'll explain why I want um, why I want those to be negative in a few minutes. So now we're going to talk about, talk about our constructor. So public painter. And we're going to use our usual JFrame suspects. So I'm going to have a set title to painter, set size to, um, I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, 800 by 600. I just want this to be a little bit bigger. And if your screen resolution won't support this, then just change the X and Y to whatever your width and height will support. Um, set default close operation to exit on close and set visible visible to true. And of course we want to set set visible to true to be last. I am going to be dealing with one J label, but I'm only going to be dealing with it in the context of the constructor. This J label will not change as the program evolves. So that's why I don't have the J label as a global variable, as an instance parameter. I'm just going to say J label instructions gets new J label. And I'm going to say drag the mouse to draw. And I want to put this in the lower right-hand corner. So I'm doing the lower part. That's why I'm using border layout. And I'm going to do the right corner by doing jlabel dot right as my alignment parameter. And then I'm going to do my content pane. So container c gets new. Uh, excuse me. Gets this dot get content pane. So now what I'm doing here is I'm setting up the layout. So I've got my content pane, and I'm going to c.setLayout to a new border layout object. And then I'm going to c.add 
instructions to border layout dot south. And now I want to configure the mouse. So I'm just going to add one mouse listener. So I'm going to say C dot add mouse motion listener this. Now remember, I can't add it to the label because it'll only keep track of the mouse while it's over the label. I have to add it to the entire content pane, and that's why I'm doing here. And that's it for the constructor. So and we're done here, along with that uh, set visible to true. Now, because I am implementing mouse, mo mouse motion listener, I need to make sure that I implement the two methods that it has. So I need to have mouse moved. So public void mouse moved with uh, mouse event E. And I'm not going to do anything. Because when the mouse is moved, I really don't care. I only care when the mouse is dragged. So mouse event E. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say x is going to be equal to e dot get x. And we talked about get x and get y last time. y equals e dot get y. And then I'm going to do a method that's new, and it's called repaint. Now what happens is repaint uh, will uh, call on the paint method with a special parameter. And it's a special parameter that I really want. It's a special graphics parameter. The graphics that we imported up here at the top. So the idea here that I'm calling on repaint means that the JFrame will get its graphics driver and will do something with its graphics driver. And we're going to tell it what exactly to do when we tell it to paint. So we're going to have graphics G. So when this g is called, when, I mean, excuse me, when this paint method is called with this g method, I'm going to say g dot, and I'm going to call on the fill oval method, and I'm going to call on it with an x parameter, a y parameter, and two other parameters, which is our horizontal width and our vertical width, so four and four, respectively. Now, I will talk in a later video about how to deal with color. That's really where we're going with this. But for now, I just want to make sure that moving my mouse and dragging my mouse gets the effect that I'm looking for. So the last thing I need here is public static void main string args. And just create a new uh, painter object. So painter p gets new painter. So what we're doing here is we have this paint method that's going to draw an oval whenever it's called upon. Dragging the mouse will find a new x coordinate, a new y coordinate, which we are storing as instance variables up here, and calling on the repaint method. In other words, every time the mouse is dragged, every time, it's going to call on this paint method, which is going to draw a new oval. And then I mentioned at the beginning that I'm setting these initial values to negative 10 and negative 10, and that's because I don't want an initial oval until I draw. And because I'm putting x negative 10, that's to the left of where the frame actually is, and y negative 10, that's actually 10 pixels above where the frame starts, I'm never going to see that image drawn until new x and new y values replace that. So let's go ahead and run this, make sure everything's working fine. It would help if I could spell painter correctly helps if I spell painter correctly. And C dot add, so C dot set, what did it say it was wrong with it? Uh, cannot find symbol instructions, instructions. So yeah, more misspellings, wonderful. So here's my painter, and if I click and drag, then I'm going to see a drawing happen here. And notice that what it's doing, if I move my mouse real quick, you see that it's actually drawing circles. Now I'm telling it to draw ovals, but it's basically doing that. And when I move it off the screen, that's fine. If I let go and just continue to move my mouse, it's not going to. Now one thing that's a little tricky is you'll notice that I've got my mouse pointer here, but when I actually start dragging, it's actually up and over from my mouse pointer. Now we could fix that with uh, with an offset 
in this, uh, we could do like an x minus 5 and a y minus 10 if we really wanted to. Um, but that's kind of filling our purpose. It's the idea that this graphics class has a whole plethora of methods. I could have this be fill rectangle. And if I run this again, oh, does fill rectangle have different parameters? I think fill rectangle might have different parameters. X, Y, N. Okay, so can I do something like that maybe? No. Stop it. Okay, so I'm going to have to look up some of these other parameters, but we're really interested in just being able to take these mouse methods and actually draw with them. Not just putting layout, not just putting panels and buttons and text fields, but let me go ahead and change this back to fill oval. But the idea is that I'm actually taking this and being able to draw on the screen, controlling it with my mouse. So that's really the, the focus of this. So we're going to talk about in our next videos, we're going to talk about some of these graphics methods. We're going to continue this painter program. And we're actually going to see what other neat stuff we can do. It would be really nice if I could have buttons over here that could change color. So I could change my color to red or green or blue or yellow. It'd be really nice if I had buttons over here where I could change the thickness of the what I'm drawing with. And so those are things that we can do. So once again, this is Mr. Potter. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.